Hello, I'm Dylan Grinder. I'm Summer. <laughs> and this is Really Playing Games, the show where we play games. Really? First take. There we go. We did it. First try. <laughs> it's been... That's how, that's how we always start shows. We always talk about how it was our first try. Yep. Yep. Consistently, <laughs> I think. Yeah. Um, I think if you were to look back, don't. But if you were to, uh, you would you find to. that that is the case. Mm -hmm. um, the real world's bitch. But yep. we're here... Summer, yep. how are you? <laughs> so spicy and um, not great. Uh, mm. So my family, my mom and dad, who I haven't seen. I saw my mom in November, but I haven't seen my dad in years um, in person. Um, they came to visit for my son's third birthday, which was May 6th. And they got COVID <laughs> while they were here. And um, my thinking is that they probably got it going through the airports um massive exposure to lots of people not wearing masks um but who knows uh my yeah both my parents who are older like significantly older got covid and gave it to my three-year-old and my husband so not great very upset um yeah it was a thing that we were very careful about and outran for two years, two plus years, not getting sick, not taking any risks because we had a toddler. Yeah, I'm still testing negative That's against, good. which is crazy. I'm I feel fine. I feel kind of like like I have allergies, but I've been consistently testing negative. We're getting more tests so I can keep testing. Um I went ahead and alerted my doctor that so basically if, if you're pregnant, which I am, if you didn't know, and you get COVID, there's a lot more risks for women or people who are pregnant um, with COVID. So uh, they want to know pretty much immediately you're cleared for antibiotics basically instantly if you're pregnant. Um, so I let my doctor know what was going on um, and they said just to keep them posted but so far, no fever, no like sore throat. I've had like some like, you know, like sneezing, but it's pollen season here. So yeah. I'm very hopeful that I'm just experiencing pollen because we have our windows open pretty much constantly. Yeah. Um, so Which that's been it's been horrible. Helps. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it's helping with circulation in the house, like air circulation, that kind of thing. So which we're doing obviously very intentionally. Um, the only silver lining is that we were both, me and my husband were both having to quarantine from our three-year-old. So he was like basically in our bedroom 24 seven by himself. Like he, we couldn't go play with him really. We would give him food and stuff. And he was really suffering. He hated being away from us. He just wanted to play and cuddle and stuff. Yeah. So the only good news is that at least now that, you know, Fleet is sick, um, they can be together. Mm -hmm. um, last we tested Wesley two days ago, he was still contagious. And then uh same with fleet so it's probably going to be another f at least five days um that i'm trapped in this room in my guest room and that's all that's the, the house that belongs to me right now uh it really sucks yeah. it really really sucks um but somehow i have escaped so far Let's go. <laughs> so let's keep let's keep the posy vibes alive. I, I will not get sick. COVID um, negative vibes. Seriously. Otherwise posy vibes. Yeah. Otherwise posy. So um, we'll see. But that happened, which was great to see my parents. Horrible that I literally didn't even get to say goodbye to them because they basically quarantined until they had until they were well enough to go home. Yeah. Um, so I didn't get to like hug them goodbye or anything, which sucked. Um, but other than that, what's been going on really? That's pretty much been my that's, life the past two much weeks. It. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think that's I, fair. Yeah. The only exciting thing that happened is I did get to go have an ultrasound, which was super yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, you get to see the little bean the look that the you're growing. Creature. Literally like this big, so <laughs> small um but uh so that was really cool and fun and um i really loved my ultrasound technician she was great Hell yeah. um, and she was also pregnant she was 30 weeks pregnant with her first baby nice um 
So that was really fun getting one to see and talk to her. One for you, one for me, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Imagine. Um, no. It's like, hey, can you scooch over? Make a can little room for Can you scooch over? I want to do down. my own. <laughs> yeah. It was so funny though. She's like, so my other friend who was ultra, who was also an ultrasound technician, and is my ultrasound. I'm like, you wouldn't just do your. Uh, she's like, no, you go to somebody else to get your <laughs> ultrasounds. I'm like, that's so. Seems like unnecessary this feels like, like a self-operable situation <laughs> yeah but apparently it's like well, whatever i mean that's super fun though but got to talk about baby stuff and um what else that's pretty much it yeah um yeah. minecraft happened this weekend it did which was a very great distraction and also super fun hell yeah um i don't know if you want to talk about that since it's your server and you can both talk shebang. about it <laughs> dylan tell me what happened on sunday uh yesterday well, the grindergard community minecraft server got together and defeated the ender dragon for the first time um at least in this version of the server mm -hmm. um and it was fantastic it was a whole big group of people it was absolute chaos um but yeah, it was a lot of fun. We got to like road trip across the world and then go beat the heck out of a dragon uh, and then get lost <laughs> in the end dimension a bunch. Oh my God. Deal with a bunch of weird shit because um, mods and bugs are fun. Um, but but yeah, it and it finally got like the two big quality of life things that I always am looking for in Minecraft, which are shulker boxes for better storage and Elytra for being able to fly and get around places. And now that I have both of them, I'm like, ah, I've been struggling so much <laughs> with my storage at home because I have an itty bitty house. Like my base, mm -hmm. my starter base is fucking tiny. Yeah. Um, and I'm out doing like, huge mining sprees and like wandering off into the wild and there's an issue that crops up in modded minecraft that i i actually hadn't really considered um before 2.0 the the version of the server that we're on now um that is you know when you add in more blocks and more items those take up space in your storage um instead of there being like i don't know a thousand five hundred different things that you could have in your storage or whatever it is in vanilla it goes up to like five thousand different things that you could potentially yeah. have in your storage um and i i hadn't really like appreciated just how big of an impact that has like early game uh, mm -hmm. and especially like mid game like before the end but after the nether kind of kind of vibes um so having shulker boxes has <sighs> allowed me to finally finally breathe again there's some empty space in my storage uh chests at home now crazy uh, crazy just, stuff just a time for me to get ready to move um both in the game and out of the game uh cuz that's the other thing that's going on with me is i'm moving in june um yep. the the from like the 11th to the 18th basically uh i'm going to be putting all of my stuff in a car and driving it a across the continent <laughs> um so yeah that'll be that'll be a good that'll be a good time hopefully yeah. um but that means i'm doing a bunch of stuff now to get ready for that um i'm going to be packing pretty soon i'm already doing the like what things do i keep what things do i get rid of mm -hmm. process um but yeah i need to pack and then also it, if if you don't know this if anyone doesn't watch any, anyone watching this doesn't know i don't know how to drive um we've never talked about that before i i don't have a driver's license and also i don't know how to operate a vehicle so um on wednesday actually so in two days from the the time of streaming and recording this um i'm going to go take my written test uh to get my learner's permit and then i'm going to try to learn how to drive <laughs> in a couple weeks so i can get an actual license um which 
you know, I, I do pick up skills pretty fast, so it's not impossible, but I'm not holding my breath. Uh, so yeah, that's what's going on with me. <laughs> uh, Very exciting stuff. Driving is great. It's scary. It is. It's scary when you're learning how to do it, um, especially interstate stuff like mm -hmm. merging is like still yeah. scary for me um, because people are crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm excited I, for you. It's going to be a good time. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, I know people fucking hate driving in San Francisco. Um, like apparently traffic here is really scary and annoying and terrible and whatever um but honestly i'm so much less worried about driving in the city than i am driving on a freeway like that shit that shit scares me driving driving in the city is like uh, whatever you just pay attention um <laughs> which i guess maybe easier said than done but like yeah on a freeway everyone's going like five bajillion miles per hour <laughs> <sighs> so, yeah. no, I don't know. it'll we'll, be good we'll see if if i don't uh, if I don't get my driver's license before I have to move, it won't be the end of the world. Um, if I do, then I'm 100% going to brag about it forever. Um, I hope you do. I really hope you do. I, I, um, will, I will say that I... It, it wasn't a physical skill, but I, I did write an in-class essay on a piece of fiction for a final once where I hadn't read it yet. And so I read it and wrote the paper in the exam. So if I can do that, <laughs> no deadline can, has power yeah. over me. Literally no deadline has power over me either. As I've, I've talked about this many times that I procrastinated, procrastinated so, so much in college. Mm -hmm. Like I would be awake for 48 hours before my final was due. And have I told this story about me sleeping under the computers in the computer yeah, lab? I don't think yeah. you told it on on I've stream but, but i've told it told before it to me. but yeah i slept under i i literally stayed in the computer lab for 48 hours straight and slept underneath the computers and slept through other people's classes there was other classes while i was in there <laughs> i just refused to leave they couldn't make me either there was free computers that cannot be and good i presented my final from the floor with the blanket wrapped around and i was sitting mm -hmm. and my professor goes this is the best submission I've ever received for this specific assignment. And I said, so what you're telling me is that there are no consequences for me staying awake 48 hours and doing it the day before. I hear you loud and clear. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Thanks, no. David. I'm going to carry that with me forever and literally still do. I'm like, there's no consequences for me taking my time and doing it at the very last minute of the day before it's due. And I still do it. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> oh, boy. I... Actually, I think this is a good question of the day for for people in chat and for the YouTube comments is um, what's the most ridiculous uh, fake it till you make it or last minute deadlines aren't real thing that you have ever yeah. uh, pulled off um, where it worked out, not where it was yeah. a disaster, but where it worked out. Um, I also want to call out um, a commenter on a previous video, Quit of the Clouds, uh, who commented on a previous episode uh, to say thank you. And uh, we we appreciated your comment. Uh, we really did. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. But I think it is maybe time for us to play a video game because we're already running late and yes. we wanted to finish this thing today. Maybe that's not happening. My brain will not allow, but we can try. <laughs> yeah, we'll we can see. see what happens. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to open Ophelia. the journal. Okay. Hand of Dionysus is what we're working on. Okay. Great. Mm -hmm. Lady Simona is laughing at the book. Okay. We know she's still alive. I can find her. Someone has seen a great deal of people. We've talked. She's in the city on Sundays. The help we of need Lady to talk Bird of to all people was able to spy on Fortinbras, get the information I needed, and now know where in town the prince is hiding. Perhaps Father or Bernardo could do something about this. Okay. Yeah. Let's tell Bernardo again. Yeah. Who's that? That sneaky, sneaky son of a bitch killed us at the end of Last Loop. Yeah. Okay. 
I know. Should we tell uh, Polonius too? No, this guy is an absolute <laughs> shit for brains. He has not helped us a single time with anything. You know what? Literally nothing. You're not wrong. When we try and get his help, he's like, let me burn your progress instead. Like literally every <laughs> single time. He just does the opposite of what we need help with. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Fart and Brow will invade. A spy on Elsinore. Let's Fort and Bra's go. hideout. Yeah. Hell yeah. Let's go. Uh, okay. Bernardo. Bernardo. I have proof of Fort and Bra's plan to betray Denmark. He's hiding out in Castletown. Ophelia. You. Ophelia. M my deepest pardons. Could you repeat that? I thought you said... You heard correctly. Fort and Bra is hiding out in the Castletown as we speak. He and his officers are in disguise near the tavern, in a small apartment. If we act immediately and send men to arrest them, we may be able to stop their coup in its tracks. Uh, <laughs> Shocked face. I believe you. That look in your eye, it frightens me to no end. I see. Regretfully, I am unable to perform such an action without the king and Polonius's explicit consent. As his advisor, your father must be consulted in situations like these. I'll call a war council immediately. If possible, I request that you allow your father and me to break this news to the king. You may not trust your word on this matter. I was correct. I was correct not to trust that snake. I, I want to be present at that meeting. That's impossible. My apologies, my lady. Hmm. Well, joke's on you because I'm going to sneak in and literally crouch a little bit and no one will see me. <laughs> Not Unless wrong. Brit's there, in which case she'll hear me breathing. <laughs> well, <gasps> upon second thought, it's only impossible that the king knows of your presence. Oh. So, Bernardo. Bernardo, you'll uh, allow me to observe in secret? You're certainly small enough to hide nicely. <laughs> Is that the explanation for how we've been able to hide all these times? Something about this comment feels inappropriate to me. <laughs> One of the rare benefits. Goodbye. Come to the king's room when the meeting convenes. We'll speak further then. Yes! Bernardo ah! now believes that Fortinbras will invade. Ophelia learns about a future event in which the War Council is assembled. If it can happen in this world, it will appear on the timeline. I love the timeline. That's time not line. the timeline. This is the timeline. Holds court. War council. Let's just go vibe. We ain't got nothing else to do. Yep. Like we could tell Polonius, I guess. Nah. He may not trust our word on this matter, as you heard. No, that was Claudius who wouldn't trust us. The king. Oh, 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 oh. Gotcha, gotcha. But also Polonius might not trust us, so. He, yeah, he might be like... How would you know that, you silly little girl? This is man talk. It's not talk for little girls. We're looking for like 15, 15, okay. We need, we need him to let us in. It's locked. Uh, well, he hasn't. They, they haven't gotten here yet. Mm. They're on their way. Okay. I'm sure he won't not let us in. Ow. There we go. <gasps> let us in. Talk, talk. Well then, my lady, please take caution. Conceal yourself and make no noise or word. His majesty would certainly not appreciate me allowing a lady of the court into a meeting like this. I'll merely listen and remain concealed. My thanks, Bernardo. Let's go. Crouch, 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 time to crouch. Oh, we're just hiding in the shadows. My lord, are you present? Your highness. Your Highness, in short, we are in danger. Mm. More of this Prince Fortinbras business. 
An eminent thorn in my side, that one. Fortinbras. Prince Fortinbras has no intentions beyond our lands. He wants to take the Danish throne. His request to cross Danish lands is a ruse. He hides out now, in town, with a small group of officers. <laughs> oh, not all this again. I understand that none of us are used to trusting Norway, but they are our out there. They are our allies now. We must keep the faith. Hasty moves have lost us many a battle in the past. My lord. My lord, I beg of you. Something like this should be simple to verify. Allow me to take my men into town. If all is as we believe it to be, we will come away with Prince Fortinbras as pa prisoner. And if not, there will be nothing to fear. We can frame it as a routine investigation of the town's seedier alleyways. There can be no harm in investigating. Hmm. So be it. Keep your profile low. Of course, my lord. Of course. Ah. And one last thing. If you come away empty-handed, there shall be no more talk of pulling peace agreements with Norway. Now or evermore. This sort of thing has the power to grow from rumor to dangerous absolute if we do not either confirm it or hinder it at the knees. Uh, yes, my lord. If this town investigation bears no fruit, I think that's wise. Let us be done with this, then. Of course. Of course. Let me stand up. <laughs> Tip -toe oh, we, do a, we do a sneaky sneak out the door. Thank goodness. It sounds like everyone's collectively come to their senses. Bernardo and his men should mobilize soon. Here's hoping they find Fortinbras. Then, there won't be a coup. Ophelia learns about a future event in which Bernardo and his men form a plan of attack. And They're gonna be so nosy. They <laughs> really are. Can't Just wait. the nosiest. <gasps> Let's go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. It's like right now, basically. Where are they? <gasps> oh, they're over there. <laughs> What's this? What's all this about, Captain? We're operating on a special request from the king to find Prince Fortinbras. We have recent cause to believe the prince is hiding out in town. Fortinbras? P prince Fortinbras? Why, that lion conniving dog. This will take the form of an ordinary sweep, raise no alarm, and mention nothing of our business. If we do find him, bring him under arrest. Bringing him under arrest is our first priority. And if we find nothing... It is the king's desire that we give the townspeople nothing to fear. Aye. Aye, Captain. Now then. Yar. <laughs> the five of us will lead the initial foray, but the rest of the castle guard will be swift to follow. I am confident that we are well staffed to handle this endeavor. We will quickly overtake whatever co cohort Fortinbras has. Aye, Captain. Aye. Let's, Let's have, have at it. <laughs> Where are they going? I have no idea. Royal family is sitting oh, down Royal to family. dine. Bernardo and his men search for Fortinbras. Let's go, let's go. Travel to Let's room. go. Let's go to the streets. Ah. Also, this birch beer that I'm having tonight tastes fucking great. Hell yeah. Shut the fuck me, up. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. I love that it says predicting the future. Okay, let's yeah. stand in the middle of the street. The weirdos. For multiple hours. There they are. That guy with a dog. Knock on every door. If the occupants refuse, force entry. My lord. My lord. We've found something. Hmm. Who are you? Marcellus, remove his hood. As I thought, you are the singular Prince Fortinbras. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had forgotten until just now that that's the voice I was doing. Yeah. <laughs> and you are here with the intent of usurping the king of Denmark. Indeed. I came to do what my father could not. You killed my finest officers, good men of large standing. I know not how you found us, but it would appear I have been summarily outmatched. <laughs> we received a tip from Lady Ophelia here. She knew you would be in town. I've heard tell of this Lady Ophelia before. Who is she? I'm the one you were going to have killed. Not anymore. Men, take him to the dungeon. I shall work with the king on how best to proceed. Whee! Sick! Sick! We did it. Well, what have the dogs sniffed out now? A hare in our trap, and a fat one at that. <laughs> Young Prince Fortinbra, welcome to Elsinore. Had I built one more day, our positions would have been exchanged here, Denmark. <laughs> yes, well, you didn't, and they aren't. What shall I do with you now? Perhaps write to your uncle and ransom you back in chains? That old man, Norway, impotent and bedridden. He doesn't know about this deceit of yours, does he? Yes. Yes, I will use you to refill Denmark's coffers and secure a true peace between us. But not just yet, I think. Ugh. Mm. First, I think I'll let you enjoy the darkness and the silence a little while. Perhaps Bernardo can give you a turn on the rack, or a little carving to remember us by. He's Claudius. M my lord, is that wise? Hmm. Perhaps not. But neither was this coup of the princes. I'm only having a little fun. Regardless, the day is won. This battle goes to Denmark. Sweet dreams, my dear prince. Guard captain. We must uncover a way to communicate this checkmate to all in Elsinore. Your Highness. At once, Your Highness. As soon as we're prepared to make an announcement, let us do so. Delivers an update on Fortinbra. Okay, I feel like we should talk to Bernardo about the attack the in the tavern. Yeah. Yeah. So that um, Othello can make it yeah. to Sunday as well. Yeah. Men, something unusual has happened today in capturing Prince Fortinbra. This may seem advantageous to us, but I anticipate it is only an omen of more to come. All of you are to be on the highest guard over the next few days. Any sign of suspicious activity, any outbreaks of violence in town, relay them to me personally. Do you all understand? Aye, Captain! Of course, Captain! Good. Dismissed. Huh. Uh, fellow. Oh, is... What? Oh, I just noticed, do our, um... I was wondering if we cleared any quests because of that. Um, let's check. Nope. Great. I suspect more is going to happen with this. Okay. Uh, wait. Bernardo. Hold on. Barkeep in trouble. Yes. Captain. Othello, the barkeep in town has been beset by thugs. What? That sounds terrible. How did you hear about it? Ophelia. You went out of town? Making out? I, I would never go out of town to do something frowned upon. But I'll see to it anyway. <laughs> but I get it. Okay, whatever. I'll do it. <laughs> I would never. But if I did, I would understand. <laughs> Okay, so I think we just wait. Uh, how do we hold on? How do we keep Hamlet from killing Polonius? He kills him. What? Which, which night? Tomorrow night? Yeah. It's possible to also have him have a meeting with Brit, isn't it? That night. Uh, maybe Where he yeah. goes to meet because I know that we've prevented it before. I think he has a meeting with a late night meeting with Brit. Um, instead of going to kill somebody, if I'm not mistaken. Um, 
Yeah. This? Yeah, maybe. Uh, is there not one that's just literally just like, hey, she wants to meet you? Mm. Keep looking, keep looking, keep looking. Nope. Hmm. I think we'd have to catch Brit at the right she, time. Yeah, she and she would have it. to ask. Yeah. Um. Talk to her. I guess we can talk to her and be like, what's up with him? Yeah. What's up, lady? What's wrong with Hamlet? And then she's like, it's because he has feelings for you. No. Um... Let's talk to Hamlet about Lady Brockenhus. Lady Brockenhus. Hmm. Why does she act that way? Ba -ba -ba. <gasps> there be anything about a tool to her. Oh, okay, Damn. let's talk to him more. Maybe talk to him about his dad. If we talk to him about his dad, he gets more angry and wants to murder Claudius or uh, Gertrude. Can we tell him about killing our dad? Can we? Have we not tried that? My father's murder. Have we ah, really not try. tried this? Let's try it. Let's try it. Hamlet, I need to speak with you. Do you bear my father any murderous intent or any intent to visit your mother's chambers? If so, I implore you to. What? <laughs> <laughs> I find your father an insufferable, intractable, insipid sod, but I bear him no ill will. After all, he was steadfastly faithful to my father all his life, and I'm certain I shall visit my mother soon, though I loathe to look at her all the same. Hmm. And if Hamley didn't kill my father intentionally, it must have been an accident. If I could only get inside the queen's chambers and witness the awful deed myself. Uh... So we have to get the key and sneak inside for it to figure out what happens, probably. <sighs> okay. Because we've never been there. We've never been there for it. Yeah, so. we may have to do the Fort and Bra stuff again. That's okay. That's fine. I mean, the thing is, we can still make it to Sunday without our dad. Yeah, it's just like if we end the the loop with him dead, then like... Oh, gotcha. Oops. You know? We don't know, but here's what here's what I think is going to happen. The playmaster is going to be like, you can escape from your hellhole right now, or you can try and get a better solution. I yeah. really think so. Um, so. It'd be interesting to see if we even get that option. <laughs> hi. <gasps> I'm going to hide in the corner and then... Until tomorrow. Um... Bernardo delivers an update on Fortinbra. Oh, we should probably be there for that. Yeah, that's okay though. Let's see Is if anything like happens deep? in here. No, it doesn't seem like it. She sits awake all night. That's the Herald's right, Horn. Okay. My apologies. Okay. My apologies for the sudden disturbance, my lords and ladies. I bring to you some sudden news. My men and I learned earlier of a Norwegian plot to overthrow his majesty and bring about the subjugation of Denmark. Prince Fortinbra aimed to violate his peacetime agreement with us in the name of bloody revenge. <laughs> However, thanks to some well-timed information, we were able to stop him in his tracks and bring him under arrest. He's now safely contained in Elsinore's dungeon, down in the ca casemates. 
Why, we'll make a show of force to Old King Norway, bedridden back, bedridden back home. Send his nephew home in chains, show him what happens to unruly boys who cannot learn to act with civility. Regrettably, I remain unconvinced this is the end of anything. This is merely the beginning. I do not believe Prince Fortinbras has any intentions of relenting. The wise thing to do would be to execute him as an enemy of the state. Ugh. However, were we to do so, we would invoke the wrath of his uncle, the King of Norway. There is no simple solution. All this is but a temporary peace. Hold nothing back. Let us prepare for a longer fight. Yes. I leave it in your hands, Bernardo. I'll have word sent to rally all troops who would hear the call. Until then, mm. everyone, please remain vigilant. Fortinbras is in prison. If I give the War Council the information, Bernardo is able to find him and overwhelm him in town. As long as Norway's prince is in our hands, they won't dare mobilize against us. Could this actually work? Uh, uh oh. What are you up to, Brit? What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing, lady? Going to go talk to Fortinbra? Uh... <laughs> Why are we doing this now? Have we ever done this so before? So stealthy. This is fun. Lady Brigida. My lord. My lord. How did they discover my location? Did you? Of course not. But you were imprisoned. The other man had no clarity of action behind them. Uh, disappointing. Er, disappointing. I'm certain they'll rally regardless. Uh, Without you, they won't accomplish anything against Elsinar. They're scattered, frightened. They need you. Perhaps they shall have me yet. This court is already fraying. I can see it. If any peace falls from the board, we'll have our chance. If there is but a moment of chaos, then I or one of your officers must come here to free you. I understand. <laughs> Precisely. <sighs> if any peace falls. Yeah, so we need to keep everyone alive in order to prevent Fortinbras from invading in order to get to Sunday. <laughs> wow, that's rough shit. <sighs> I have to, I, that gave me chills I, the, the idea of trying to uh, no one must die I can save them I have to Ooh, the pressure <laughs> is very intense <laughs> suddenly yo Brit <laughs> can we talk like right now no let's talk to her upstairs let's not get let's get out of here uh, I, my, I immersion. my immersion my immersion oh your immersion okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> Sorry, sorry about your immersion. We'll it's okay. talk here. Okay, we need uh, to tell her like we know that you're a spy, bitch. Brit. Brit, I know you've been leaking information to Fort and Bra. Uh this anyway, I was no I suppose it doesn't matter. I knew this would come eventually. Let them hang me then. Yada I don't yada yada. Why should you be executed? Then why are you talking to me? Oh my god. Brit. Mm. Mm. Nope, nothing else to say. Okay, so um, yeah, we just have to keep everyone alive. Is should the... we get her? Let's get her 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 good things. Let's get her the paint and yeah, the letters from her mom at the very least. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, so we got to stop yeah. our dad from dying. Yeah, which I don't think we can do this loop. Yeah, we're going to have to find out Like maybe we can Maybe we can stop it in the middle of... Who knows? The things happening, but I think in all likelihood we're going to find out how he dies and then... Um use that in the next loop yeah 
You right. God. Can we change the play actually too? What do you want to change it to? Um, let's see our options again. Oh, Brit's free. Brit. Uh huh. Hmm. Smashing the shit out of my space bar. I hear it. I see. <laughs> let's go. Meow. Meow. She doesn't trust me. There must be more that I can do. Gotta go get our underwear. Um, frozen in um, time, father's death. Let's do it. Frozen in time? No, our father's death. Oh, my father's death. Uh, uh, yeah. You know what? Fuck it. Uh, let's get underwear first. Yeah. Because he's in the middle of a combo. Yeah, and he's always available. And... Let's do it right now. Oh, he's in the conversation with somebody. Oh, he's talking to Bernardo. He's talking to Bernardo. Okay. <laughs> Then. Oh. Horatio. You. We gotta still go to follow her to the town. No, Brit. Stop. I am going to follow you to town. Literally, click her and hit follow. Let's go get her. We go talk to Quince first. Yeah. Uh, father's, father's death. death. My father will die and none of the royal family will mourn him, not even the king. If he knew that, maybe he wouldn't sacrifice himself for the queen. Hmm. Ah. ah, a daughter's love. Such a tender little thing. Yes, yes. Shall we see how this alters the course of history? I admit I'm most curious. Me too, dude. I have a most fascinating performance to put on, inspired by you. Woo, okay, let's You're go get... You're creepy. Let's go get Brit. Brit. You just gotta follow that binge. Brittany. It's Burkita, bitch. Let's look at the timeline real quick. See what's coming up. Um, the play right. I want to be there for. Yeah. Okay. We'll just follow her until then. She'll probably just go to that. <laughs> that was weird. Oh. Just fucking around in Gertrude's room. Playtime. Play no, so it's down to dine and then playtime. We do not need this conversation for the nth time. Okay. Playtime. Playtime. We're putting on the play, actually. La la la. Ha. Oh. I am an accomplished actor. And I am the same actor putting on a different voice. <laughs> Welcome, one and all. Thank you for coming, lords and ladies. I, your humble playmaster, have arranged a most magnificent show for you tonight. And with my many changing faces, I am to please all who look upon me. So without further ado, a thigh-slapping comedy of ineptitude. The false <laughs> wise man. 
The false wise man. Hmm. I don't think we've seen this one before, have we, my love? Hmm. It's not familiar to me, no. The false wise man? And uh, a fascinating choice of uh, for a uh, performance. Yes, this ought to be interesting. There's a typo here, but it actually kind of works. <laughs> uh, uh, performance. <laughs> Old man. Ladies and gentlemen. In the kingdom of a certain Lord Gonzago, there rests a terrible predicament. He finds himself assaulted by his enemies at every step, embattled and in need of some good advice. Woe be to him, though, he only has Krambis, the idiot advisor at his side. Karambas fails to inform his master on even the simplest subjects. Hmm. I know not what I hunger for, Karambas. What ought I to eat for supper? Oh, my lord, there is soup in the kitchen today. A most wonderful bone broth of savory roots and meats. But also, my lord, the cook has prepared a freshly caught boar and hanged it in the pantry for preparation tonight. Of course, there's also a platter of sweetmeats on the hearth and a roast duck in the guardhouse and a hundred other things besides. Corumbus, I only want your best professional opinion. What good is a list of opportunities to me? I need a firm decision. And if you can't help me with even this old man, how are we ever supposed to win this god-awful war? What? what? What is this? Is that supposed to be me? No, Dad, no. that's not you, uh, silly. One night, Karambas sneaks into the Queen's chambers to observe a most interesting conversation. But as the exchange turns heated, he debates with himself what ought he to do. Should he flee, or defend the Queen, or something more? Unable to decide, he merely cries out and gives away his position. He is run through immediately. Poor Karambis, dead too soon, and yet not dead soon enough. Oh, I am slain. That's a horrid caricature of me. Not like me at all. Thus I die. Thus. 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 <sighs> Oh, for heaven's sake. Is this what the queen, king and queen think of me? Useless and rambling? Unable to perform my basic duties? All these years I thought I was good and dutiful. I I... Ahem. I have seen quite enough. Ladies, gentlemen, my lieges, please excuse me. Maybe we saved his life. Goodness, dearest, did you request that script? No. Not at all. I hope Polonius didn't take offense. <laughs> well, no, no mind, he'll recover. Good old Polonius, faithful as an aged draft horse. <laughs> Jeez. Quince, I think we've had quite enough. A wonderful performance. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody else is like, I thought it was hysterical. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course, my lord, as you command. What was that? That wasn't the play I intended to perform. Let's look at the timeline. Hell leads everyone in a drinking game. That's it. That's it. I think that was pretty tight. I I hope he. Did you see him running away outside? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, do we want to hang out in Gertrude's quarters or follow Brit around? Mm, he won't die until tonight, tonight, right? Uh, just a couple hours. 
Do we want to go there just in case? Yeah. Well, we can see if he heads there, though. I think... I don't think Britt's going to do anything. Should we go check on him? He's on the lower wall. Is he? Yeah. Oh. Oh, are you going to... He's being a pouty mangooster. Oh, he's done. Oh. Was he talking to this ghost? Maybe. I don't... I don't know. Gertrude's chambers. It looks like he's not going there. Hamlet's not coming through either. Brit's in town. Damn. Hi. You? Eh, what's wrong with you? I want to be alone. I know. Yes. Yada yada. I want to help you. No. Not here somewhere private. Outside, literally outside in the courtyard. I was supposed to die. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, yes, yes, yes. This is all the same so far. Ah, here we go. Okay. But Fortinbra was placed under arrest. He's in the dungeon this very moment. What does it matter? Ha! As if a prison can hold a man like that. He may be in prison now, but don't think for a moment he'll stay there. His associates are almost certainly watching, just waiting to make their move and spring him free. As I said before, leave me alone. We cannot be friends, and there can be no trust between us until this matter is resolved. Now you know the truth, I hope it brings you boundless happiness. Dramatic bitch. Okay. okay. Uh... I guess we wait for Sunday. Mm, what do we need to follow up on the prince's ambitions? It's to kill his uncle. Told Hamlet I want to try again with us. That's the getting back together with him. Do we need to get back together with him to keep him from killing his uncle? I don't think so because he killed his uncle in this. Oh, you're right. What's the journey at sea? Um, Hamlet returned from his... Voyage to England thanks to a bizarre scenario where pirates boarded his vessel and took him hostage. He believes there is a plot against his life right from the voyage's start. If I speak to the king about this, maybe I can uncover the truth of the matter. We might die if we talk to him about that. Yeah. I think... That's kind of encouraging us to. Uh... Yeah, I think we just wait. Wait for what? Sunday. You don't think anyone's going to die between now and Sunday? The king's probably going to die. Is he? I don't see why not. Hamlet tries to kill him. Well, but we actually haven't gotten to the part where in the play Hamlet tries to kill Claudius. That's We've true. We've only had him die early. We can try. We don't have another thing to do right now. I think is is my concern. Okay, we've seen those events. Nothing happening anywhere. Okay. Just a meeting. It's Sunday. What's happening? 
Polonius is burning some things. That's fine. We don't need it anymore. Come on. Oh. Fuck. Who died? Yes. I'm sorry. Sorry to be the one to tell you this. Your father is dead. What? Did he die in the fire? He took <gasps> his own life rather suddenly. I think he was down about how the court thought of him. So we needed to catch him on the wall when that moment was happening because it was a, a moment. Yeah, or we needed to uh, uh, prevent him from getting stabbed. I think the easiest thing for us to do is just chill in Gertrude's room until the stabbing. Okay. Find out about it and then try to prevent that. Yeah. Yes. Da, 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 da. Here's your stuff. Listen to the no. announcement. Let's no. Let's see. We can just reset now, right? Uh, well, let's I just wait and see. Fort and Broad attacks. Oh, does someone else die? Ophelia. <laughs> Lady Ophelia, Damn it. I have failed in my duties most utterly, as I have brought everyone together for the announcement this morning. One of my men reported back from Fortinbras' cell. Yeah. Yeah. Fortinbras. So he gets free at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's just reset. Let's, let's just wait and see if the lady shows up. I had everything lined up. It seems fixing our external affairs means little if internal affairs are still bloody. Hopefully this at least bought me enough time to meet Simona. Well, Let's see. We'll see. <gasps> Thanks. Ah. Hello, Othello. Have you any need to buy a little barley wine today? I have three casks outside. <laughs> a little? You know this place. The field fellows drank it all within the first three days. If you can sell me thrice as much, I can pay it. Aye, that's well enough. A drink before you went back? I'm in no hurry. Hmm. I'll indulge these bouts a while, yes. Why am I doing this voice to me? She doesn't look that old either. She looks like pretty, her face looks young at least. Let's talk to her. Simona lives. Uh, Simona. I know who you are. You are Lady Simona. Hmm. No one's ever called me a lady, alas. But you are. You're King Alexander's former consort, Mophelia. You knew my mother, Elise, didn't you? You're the exact image of her. I'm sorry. But Lady Simona died a long time ago. You're too late. She wanted nothing to do with that cursed vile castle or any of the evil people dwelling within it. And I still don't. Good day to ye, lady. May no harm come to you. Or do you have some business with me I should be aware of? The book. The book. A book. What do you know of a strange, cursed book? I found my mother's diary. It spoke of you. I know about your time in the castle, and I think you found something, didn't you? You still have that cursed book within your possession. I would assume you are mad, but I know your mother's face well. You have so much of Elise in you. Mm. The book. Do you know the power vested within this book? It's just a blank book. Its pages are not blank for me! <laughs> Absolutely <clears throat> not. It's all right, I had to speak in bold for a moment. It continues the many thousands of fra or contains the many f thousands of fragments of worlds I have seen, our futures that never came to pass, of pasts that never were. 
I know precisely what you mean, and I'm here to put an end to it. I just... I need the book to prevent time from repeating itself. It's... it's useless. My child, I'm afraid you have been lied to. The one causing your world to repeat isn't the book of fates. It's Peter Quince! <gasps> huh? No. 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 No, that can't be true. Quince is the one who asked me to find the book. He helped me find you. Why would he do that? When I heard rumors that King Hamlet was searching for a particular book, I suspected Quince was behind it. He knows I am weak, though I will never return the book to him. I may give it to another one of his poor victims. His victims? What are you saying? Mm. I've never told this story before. It is the story of my greatest sin. Many years ago, I was fated to die by Queen Astrid's hand. She resented my relationship with her husband. She wanted me dead. One night while sleeping, I felt someone slit my throat in the darkness. I bled to death there, in my bed. It should have been the end, but it wasn't. Because I woke up, and I was alive once more. Quince found me shortly afterwards. He seemed to know everything about my circumstances immediately. I grew comfortable speaking with him. Uh, this sounds painfully familiar. Don't it though? And then he proposed a game of sorts. He offered me the book and promised me that if I used it, I could change feet like a god! In return, he offered to make time repeat, giving me infinite opportunity. He made just one thing clear. The book was his, and his alone. Once I had gotten my revenge and used it, it would return to his hands. And so I explored every alley, every pathway of my world. He followed me eagerly, curious to observe every choice I made. I could have kept both of us alive, Astrid and me, but I didn't. I was a woman spurned and I was out for blood and the crown. Instead, I used the Book of Fates to have her driven mad. I wanted to be queen. You know the story. What the fuck? And Quince helped me bring that world about. I saw how he took such glee in the horrific events which followed. My life became a living hell, one I'd created for myself. Ophelia, have you not noticed that this world spins ever constantly towards disaster? Yes. I'd never known my family and friends to be capable of violence like this. Surely you aren't saying that Quince is the one who makes them act this way. No, their demons are truly theirs but he has some ability to impose his will upon the world, to influence. I'm certain you've witnessed it, and he enjoys that power. That disgusted me. I realized I had been used for his pleasure, and I had sold my friends and family for the sake of the power he'd offered me. The morning after Quince freed me from my game with him, I chose a new path. I knew I had to convince him to give me the book once more. In the end, it wasn't hard. He's an artist, and all artists can be played through their vanity. It's true. I told him I wanted to learn from the book, to learn to be like him. He indulged me by granting it to me once more. Of course he did. And I ran for my life. I fled and I hid. And the years passed in that silence. And Quince never came for you. He knew I wouldn't grant the book to him, but he well knows I shall give it to you now. What? What? If what you say is true, why would I ever want it? Because he will never let you leave your repeating world and die in peace. Not until you've used its powers, and it has returned to his hand. He made that mistake with me. I hoped that when I died, the book's power would simply die with me. 
but he knows me well, and he knows I would never allow Elise's daughter to suffer in infinite hell. He knows I loved your mother like my own flesh and blood. Very well then, may this be my final gift to her. If you don't make the book's power your own, the only world available to you will be whichever future Quince makes for you. I... So, if I use this book, I can determine the fate of this world. To an extent. People are people. You cannot create a fate which is impossible for broken people to achieve. But there is no turning back. Once you use the Book of Fates, the clock on Elsinore advances forever. I, 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 can't. I can hardly believe this is true. Magic books, godlike powers, what does any of it matter? I just wanted to find a way to save them all, and myself. A perfect world is a notion held only by children and fools, and Ophelia, you are neither. This cursed thing, it's yours now. May you use it and find peace. It's... it's oh. oh. A cutscene? Haven't had one of these in a while. Where are my jorts? What? What? What just... That book is over on my table now. How did it get here? Ophelia! Ophelia! Uh, still? <laughs> His death! Go now. Go now, Hamlet! Out! 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 My <laughs> <laughs> oh god, Ophelia yelled at me! <laughs> I suppose I thought that might have been the end of all this, but it wasn't. There it is. What's it doing there? What should I do now? Ophelia now believes that Ophelia has the Book of Fates. Let's go look at it. Uh, Sacrifice, struggle for relief. This world wishes I had died. That was my original fate. I can accept the way. Oh, these are all the different endings. Sacrifice. Oh. Sacrifice struggle for relief. Sacrifice prestige. <laughs> for family. Sacrifice innocence for power. Family for legacy. Reality for joy. Peace for survival. Permanence for passion. That's the Othello one. Mm -hmm. Predictability for adventure. Everyone for myself. Responsibility for indulgence. Independence for peace. That's the last one. We only have two endings. We have a couple. We have two. One. Do we really only have two? Too. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. I could accept the way things were meant to be a simple fate. I think... I think that's picking our ending. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Out of the, out of the options. Lady Ophelia. Quince. What a dickhead. Quince, where's my father? Never mind that, I've put him on pause for a moment. How have you been, my lady? And where have you been wandering? Nowhere, other than my chambers. Uh, let's bear some legs, shall we? I saw you. A familiar little lavender gown trailing its way down to Castletown. And what did you find there, hmm? I was meeting an acquaintance. 
It was nothing of note. Ah. Nothing of note, she says. <laughs> but I don't believe it. You have found something incredible, haven't you? I mentioned once to you that I was here to find a lost item. Something of mine. And now you've gone and done the deed all on your own. So very admirable. Liar. I spoke with Simona. I know who you are. Who you really are. All of this. Everything that's happened to me. It was just a game you were playing to get me to find that stupid book for you. <laughs> Correct. And, by the way, my thanks. This little adventure of ours has been truly delightful. Now simply choose a fate and I can leave Elsinore forever. You want me to use the book? Why? I thought you wanted it for yourself. Because if you use the book of fates, it comes right back to me. It's just like a chess game, you see. First your turn, and then mine, then yours, then mine, and so on and so forth. Lady Simona merely granted you the human seat at the board. You inherited her match. And let me tell you, in the past she's made some rather atrocious moves. So all of this is just a spectacle to you? That's right, isn't it? That's what all of this is. It's just a performance you're putting on. In that case, I'll never make a decision. You cannot force my hand. Right now, I choose to stay in Elsinore. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How clever. Mm. Wrong. Wrong, Carl of Filio. This is your last chance to be reasonable. Give me the book or suffer an eternal hell in a prison I've designed especially for you. Do you think this little game I've put you in is the worst it can be? Oh no, dearest. It can be far worse still. I alone can understand the details of your pain, for I have seen it all. This match with Ian Ophelia, you and I, it's like playing with a child. Your strategy lacks efficacy. Your designs are impotent. I will ensnare you every time, don't you understand? You will linger here, undying, growing bored and stupid and slow, just like King Hamlet before you. I won't. I've told you. I won't give you the book. Leave me. Please. Leave you? I am Elsinore. I am the eye in every wall, and my fingers run through every flagstone. I can no more leave you than you can leave me. And, my dear, you can never truly leave me. Even when the book is back in my hands, I will always linger. And while you're here, I will dismantle you piece by piece. I will not allow you to find more than the smallest happiness. I will smother you until every shred of your flesh is ground beneath my toes. Yes. Yes. That's the face I came to see. I hope to be seeing more of it very soon. Till then. Till then, Ophelia. Well, <sighs> this isn't over. This cannot be over. There must be a way to stop him. Pirate the information banishing the playmaster now believes Quince is dangerous. You don't say. Um, uh, is it hearsay? Ba, 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 banishing. Banishing the Playmaster. Quince means to cause us all harm and confusion. He cannot be trusted. Huh. All right, let's read him. Let's read about him in characters. Um. Boop. Do you want to? Oh, yeah, I can. He lied to me. He's not on my side at all. He desires nothing more than my total and complete destruction. As some kind of sick game. Some source of entertainment for him. 
I cannot give him that satisfaction. I must push onward. I have the Book of Fates to guide me. I wonder if we're actually supposed to get all of the endings. Prestige for family. <sighs> How? Oh, God. <laughs> How? I mean, like, look, that's like two, like, let's try and make out the images. I'm, that's what I'm doing. This look like two rings. So this is Thrones. This is marrying Hamlet. Right. Uh, family for legacy. I'm not sure. Not that sure? does look like two rings. Yeah. Uh, reality for joy. Is this flowers? Looks like it. Peace for survival is a like manor on a hill and some broken and, like, wagon. Broken wagon, yeah. Dead tree vibes. Permanent Already did this one. Predictability for adventure. I actually kind of really want to do this one. Yeah. Well, we're gonna try and do all of them. Haha. <laughs> oh god, are we? I guess sacrifice we everyone for to. myself. Yeah, I think we this should. Is leaving. Because responsibility for indulgence is bread in a hat. <laughs> Let's go get super drunk every day, I guess. Is like the vibes. And then Independence for peace. I don't know what this is a picture of. But... Mm -mm. Okay, uh, let's keep Polonius from getting stabbed. Or you let's, go see, eavesdrop in let's the room? see Polonius get stabbed, actually. Oh. Do we think that what? Quince is going to make things harder? No. You don't think he's going to change anything? No, I think it's just a narrative like, aha, you have to do so yeah. much in order to finish the game. Yeah. Kind of kind of thing. All right, let's vibe. Vibing. Like a dog bed in here. <laughs> Just standing here, completely zoning out, looking at the wall. And she doesn't even care. She's like, I do the same thing every night. I don't even sleep. I just sit and turn and stare. <laughs> no one in this fucking castle sleeps. No, they can't. And that animation would be too hard. And also, they'd be unavailable to talk to. Come on. Spooky music. <gasps> Gertrude? Polonius is Here there. Here comes Polonius. Hamlet's over there. Yeah, okay. Cool. Here we go. We haven't ever heard this scene. This is going to be exciting. <laughs> We're casting the longest shadow. Oh my god. <laughs> now, my lady. The time is long past to talk sense into him. He has made a fool of the king. You've been far too graceful. Please be honest with him. No more of this. Out. Out, Polonius. Now. I cannot bear to listen to you right now. Please. Uh, hmm. I'll not leave yet. I'll hide over here. Hamlet. Hamlet, you've been truly terrible to your uncle today. Mother. And you have been truly terrible to my father. Mm. What on earth? Yes. This is her final chance to prove her loyalty and renounce her sin. I think you know why I'm here, don't you? Why the play had to show that awful scene? I don't understand. Patience, Hamlet. Yes, father. <laughs> yes, this ghost whispers patience in my ear. Father, how can you ask for patience? You're seeing spirits. 
My father's ghost stands right there. Can you not see him? He comes to pass judgment. Do you not understand Claudius's sin? Are you trying to say you don't know what he's done after you married him? What is this? I have no idea what you're talking about. M my love, please, why are you shouting at me? Uh -uh. A trick. This is just another trap to try and convince me I'm insane. No. No. Uh, Hamlet, it's not. Please, you must be mad. <laughs> you vile woman, you won't escape punishment. Fuck Horatio's books. No. no. What was that? What was that? Are you and Claudius spying on me? Die rat. Die rat. I like how he has a sword, but he pulls out a much shorter knife. Yeah. Polonius. Father. 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 I'm sorry. Hamlet. Hamlet. Polonius. Father. Hamlet. Hamlet. Gertrude. Uh, <laughs> Father. Hamlet. Hamlet, what have you done? I, I took him for his better. I warned you to stay your hand. It's happened again. Uh, damn it! You... you put him up to this! Hamlet. Hamlet. I didn't know he was there, I swear. Queen Gertrude becomes upset, but will recover overnight. Ophelia now believes that Polonius' death was an accident. Please. Please, darling, stop this. Claudius murdered my father. He murdered my father. You suspected it, and yet you still slept with him? You whore. I should let the whole castle know we have a whore for a queen. Uh, uh, what a I, fucking I... prick. He did what? Hamlet. Hamlet. Leave her. She is not your enemy. See how amazement sits upon her face. Speak to her gently. No, father. I need to do this. I need to be the worst thing possible in this moment. The ghost is like, my my dude, my sweet, sweet boy. I'm Can you the please one. be nice to your mom like 1%? And he's like, yes. Like, I'm the one that got fucked over in all this. And I'm, I'm dead, telling dude. you to chill. Yeah. <laughs> you're avenging me and you're really fucking up right now. I do not feel avenged. I feel anti-avenged. Thank you. I, I feel revenged. I feel betrayed <laughs> by you now. Claudius killed Hamlet? Father is dead because of that snake. I don't understand. How could he? You're saying you truly didn't know? Can you not tell she is innocent? Father? Father, enough! Stop whispering in my ear! Father's spirit implores me to show you mercy. So be it then. If he asks then I shall grant it. I didn't know. I, I only ever suspected Claudius, and never out loud. I never knew he was capable of such a thing. My son, I swear to you, I never knew. I swear it. <laughs> huh. Dry your eyes, mother. I'm going to go get revenge for both of us. How? You'll see soon enough. For now, speak none of this to my uncle. I'll handle the rest. I'm gonna kill your husband. Time to lug this poor old fool's corpse. Woohoo! Jesus Christ. <laughs> the game is struggling. It's like trying to... Calculating, calculating. Okay, well... Now we know that his death was an accident. Do we have... Do we have... I would have told us. A thing. 
Maybe it just changes the don't kill him dialogue. Maybe. Reset? Yeah, let's go for it. Oh, Hamlet. <sighs> Come on, Hamlet. Go on, you're distraught. You need time what? alone. Get out of here, silly goose. Whoa. Okay. Oh, poor Polonius. Hey, Hammy, what's up, Bubba? Hey, you remember that thing? Do you not? You remember not remembering that thing about killing my dad? Um, where the fuck is it? Oh, it was right there. My father's murder. Hamlet. Hamlet, I need to speak with you. Okay, okay. this, what? this. Bear him no ill will. I'm certain I shall visit my mother soon. Don't there. meet your mother alone. Nothing good can come of it. Please. And it will mean my father's demise. I implore you, Hamlet. Please. Ophelia? I don't understand. Why would I? Ophelia, are you well? I'm just as mad as you are, my bud. Hamlet now believes that Ophelia is losing her mind. Great. Let's talk to him. Let's talk to him about the pirate thing, too. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Chip plot fails. This is going to fuck shit up, but let's do it. Let's go. We've never done it before. Hamlet, you ought to be wary. Your uncle desires your death at sea. He means to have you sent away and quietly executed upon arrival, but he will be unsuccessful in this. What? <laughs> what? Death at sea? I'm not certain I understand what you mean. Oh, oh right. Claudius hasn't asked Hamlet to go to England. Okay. He's like, she's nutso, actually. Get out of here, you silly goose. Okay. Uh, Fortinbra. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Fortinbra hideout. out. Bernardo. Ophelia. Yada 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 yada. Also, we don't really need to be there. Goodbye. Also, there's this thing with a fellow named the thug. The fellow. Bar in trouble. Keep. Captain. What was Long Lost Adventures? I... Long Lost Adventures? Ophelia. Yeah, it was right below this one. Please. I will. Othello has been through some incredible adventures. I wonder what others know of him. Hmm. Okay. Um. Okay. Irma's ire. This is about Hamlet needing discipline. Claudius coming undone. Queen, Queen Gertrude George passed away. Passed away suddenly. I noticed Claudius fled from the announcement. I wonder where he went off to. Fuck. Okay. So if we get, um. If we can get Gertrude to die and not Claudius, <laughs> we can follow that one down. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Uh, now we wait and see what happens, I guess? I guess so. Shall we wait in Gertrude's chamber to see if Polonius should dies? We, should we tell our father not to go? Uh, we can do that. We can also talk about banishing the playmaster just as a funsies. We could. My father's murder. Please. Father, I know how this sounds, but please believe me. Hamlet is going to make an attempt on your life. By accident. By accident. 
Hamlet? For what purpose? No. It, is it the king's wish? I don't think so. I don't know exactly. I believe Hamlet is the only man you need to fear. Does this mean you believe me? And you'll stay away from him? Well, you know it makes me ill when you say strange things like this. It's on my mind at the very least. Oh, please, don't go spreading odd portents of doom to anyone else. Too late, we already are <laughs> doing a lot. So you believe my warning at least a little. Okay, hmm. hey, well, we'll see. Um, Polonius now believes that he should be wary of Hamlet. Polonius now believes that Ophelia is losing her mind. Yay. You can get everyone to think it. Got the key, and then we go stand in Gertrude's room for like a day and a half. Key meat hole. What a weird thing to say. Okay. Let's go stand over here by the chair in a very normal fashion. King, Queen, the Queen's about to come sit in that chair all night long. Yep. I'm just going to be standing behind oh. her. Ophelia, dear? Father? What is it, Father? I need you to come with me. Quickly now. <gasps> We're too crazy. What is this? What's going on? Do as you will. Oh no. As we discussed earlier, her mind's not well. She needs help. <laughs> it's what's best for her, Polonius. Do this. I'm not delusional, Father. Don't do this. I'll ensure she's delivered with all the care my men can provide. We'll watch over her, my lord. Thank you, Bernardo. Father. You're sending me to an asylum? Really? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But everyone, everything you've been saying, these visions, I don't want any harm to come to you. It'll only be for a little while, I promise. It's the truth. I was telling you the truth. If you won't believe me, why not just let me go? Please. Bernardo, give her the dwell. I can't be bear to see her like this. Come and drink this, my lady. Stay away from me! Ophelia! Ophelia, don't fight me, please. <gasps> Things will be better on the other side, my love. You'll be safe. Nothing will harm you there. I could use the Book of Fates to embrace madness if I wanted to. Well, we did get an ending, though. Yeah. Which is fun. Honestly, surprised we didn't get that one earlier. <laughs> yeah, me either. Um, okay. What? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. okay. Let's go check the book and just see which what the picture was. See which one yeah. that was. And let's do all of that except for telling Polonius. <laughs> yeah. Fucking hell. Okay. Okay. Consider who might find the information I know useful rather than disclosing everything and everything. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, fuck you, Okay. Game. Okay. Well, shut up. I mean, I knew it's always stupid to tell her dad literally anything, but. Reality for joy. I have the power to create the perfect world. It might exist only in my mind, but it'd be real to me. Some call it insanity. I call it closure. Interesting. Very. But no thank you. No thank you. Shut the fuck up, you I snitch. Know. You dirty, filthy snitch. Stitches get stitches. You suck, dad. Okay, hey, so we'll tell don't, Hamlet. Don't stab my dad. Ba, 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 ba. My father's murder. Blah, 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 blah. They'll think we're crazy. We just won't say anything else crazy to anybody else. We'll go talk to Bernardo about the other stuff. 
Um, wait, why are we looking at the fire? Oh, we got some charcoal. Oh, there are multiple places to get that. Interesting. Cool. Uh, Bernardo. Nardy boy. Um... Should we also stop our brother from leaving? Hideout. Uh, yeah, Hideout. sure. Ophelia. Let's wrap see. this up, Bernardo. Hmm. Don't worry, I've already been to it. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, and then Othello. Barkeep. Barkeep in trouble. Captain. My apologies. Go, 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 go. I wish we could just do Please. these like like select things in yeah. advance at the start of yeah. a run. Um things that we want to do, things that we don't yeah. want to do. Just for shit that we've already done a bunch of times. Yeah. Um there is a game that works like that. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, let's talk about... Brock and Hoos. Brock and Hoos. Lady Brock and Hoos. Don't go, bro. I don't think we need to, to talk uh, to her. I think we just need to keep not. people alive. Yeah, probably not. My thanks. Okay. Great. Okay. Now, um, we get this key. And then go vibe? Yeah. We vibe. We see if Polonius dies. I think sort of like a way for us to get to our perfect ending is to just like do a thing that prevents a death and then go until something terrible happens and then do a thing that prevents that and workshop that one timeline down. Right. But we still need to figure out the less than ideal endings as well. Potentially. Oh, Gertrude's mirror. That's a mirror. Weird. Oh. Just thought it was the wall. Me too. <laughs> no wonder Brit stares into it for like six hours straight. <laughs> <laughs> what a very Brit thing to do. Curse your leaves. Uh oh. This is capturing Fortinbras. Some oh. sudden news. Yes, they cool. caught Fortinbras. Great. Oh yes. All right. Back to vibing. Leave me alone, everybody. I'm hiding. Interrupted our vibe chambers. time. Yeah. How could they? <laughs> so rude. I'm interested to see how this goes. If Hamlet just like is wary of Polonius being there. This is going to be very interesting. My lady. Hide. Hamlet. Mother. Yes. Yes, father. You're seeing spirits. Yada yada. What is this? I have no idea what you're talking about. A trick. It's another trap no. to convince me I'm insane. Vile woman. No. What was that? Oh, come Sorry. on, my guy. He literally warned you about this. Okay, so it's the play. It has to be. It has to be the play, and then we talk to him on the wall. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Get me out of here. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah. What? Okay, speed run, speed really. run, speed run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do this. We can do this. Okay, we gotta talk. To, we gotta go talk to Quince, our mortal enemy, and be like, "Hey, remember how I was like, I'm keeping your book forever? Could you like, actually do this play for me?" Bud? <laughs> yeah. Could you do me a quick favor? Uh, but first, Nardo. Wait. Nardo. Nardo. Fortinbra. Uh, Fortinbra hideout. Bernardo. Ophelia. I see. Speed run. Hmm. Ah. Goodbye. Okay. Bar. And then Othello. Bar, 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 keep in trouble. I, uh, Ophelia. Ophelia. Please. I will. I will. Quince! Okay. Uh, Laertes. What's the key for speeding forward? F. Uh, Brocken House. Broccoli House. <gasps> I must My go face. to her. Okay. Now we wait for Quince. There you are, you piece of shit. Son of a bitch. Uh, My father's death. Hey, stupid asshole. Uh, All right, let's go wait for the play. Okay, and the play happens when? It's the war Tomorrow. council. Tomorrow. War Council. There's a meeting of some kind. Dinner. Family sits down to dine. Point is remembers my mother. Laertes meets with a confidant. Bernardo and his men search for Fortinbra. Hello, McDonald. <laughs> Are you polishing the statue's tits? <laughs> yes. And good. You know, fair enough. Whatever you gotta do. Ugh, I wish we could fast forward in time. <laughs> we can, just not as much as you want. <laughs> yeah, well, yes. I wish we could skip. That's the Herald's Horn. My apologies. Fortinbra. Why do we have to listen to this one? <laughs> oh. Yes. Okay. And then we go in here for the play. Okay, dinner. Great. And a movie. Play. Can you fast Welcome, forward through this? One and all. Uh, lords and ladies, humble playmaster, yada yada. False, False wise man. man. Okay. Yeah, it's just the same one. Hmm. Just fast forward, just fast forward. Ladies you don't need to listen gentlemen. to it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen quite enough. All right, let's go, let's go. Follow that man. <laughs> Follow that man. Of course. What was that? Not in the slightest. Quince is a prick. <gasps> Go get him. <sighs> I am truly a fool. I never saw it. All this time, I gave everything to Denmark. 
and it gave me nothing in return. How could I have been so naive? When Hamlet died, I thought with Claudius things would be the same. After all, I've known Claudius all his life. Ever since he was born, I even knew about... About His what? crazy... Claudius. His craziness at the end. Well, I'm never mind it. But these people see me as dispensable, useless, obtuse, idiotic. There is no longer any point to remaining here. My children and I should have left long ago. This court has done nothing but take from us. My wife, <laughs> my daughter's purity, my own dignity. I owe these people nothing more. <laughs> it's like the, the fucking uh, onion headline. It's like the worst, the tragic, the worst person you know made a point you agree with. Yeah. <laughs> Father. What? The whole time, dude, I ran up here with you. How long have you been listening? Why are you saying it all out loud, dude? Long enough to know that I agree. You'd be happier away from all of this, living a simpler life. Would you resent me for taking you away from everything here? No. Not if it meant you were happy and free. Ophelia. Oh, Ophelia. I've been a horrid father to you, haven't I? Yes. Questioning your every move, hovering over your shoulder. You and your brother are the only truth that matters. <sighs> Let me never forget that. Never again. Okay. Oh. Ophelia, we have matters we must discuss as a family. <laughs> I love his woo sound. <laughs> I've had a moment in which to reflect upon all that's occurred lately, and it has removed some of the doubt from my heart. That performance I saw, it was unlike anything I'd ever witnessed. To have your worst fears about yourself echoed back at you as truth, it was a mockery, insult in the highest form. Much as it pains me to believe this, my use to this dynasty has come to a close, I think. Now, of course, I regret that I invested everything we had into King Hamlet's war. We still own a little land and a single estate. It is old, but sufficient, and the three of us would be together there. Perhaps we can make some new life for ourselves, though much of our current comfort will be lost. Father. I cannot leave, Father. What? What? But for weeks you've been pleading to leave for Paris. Yes, but that was meant to be temporary. The remains of the summer at best. Holy shit. Hello, welcome, Raiders. I always knew or believed that I would return here. There's someone very important to me. I, I, I couldn't bear to leave. Fuck. Not just yet. Not until I, I know if they... Uh, bleh. Not until I know if the way I feel for her can ever be returned. A lover? Come now, Laertes, how frivolous of you. Oh my god, Polonius. Why do you hate everyone's happiness? <laughs> Polonius' entire reason to exist is to be like, Fuck you for having a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies, father, but my mind is made up. I love her. What if I told you she was a traitor to the state? Um... Does he mean Brett? Very well. We'll stay for now. But the moment your heart has made up its mind, we'll depart. Ho, 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 ho. Polonius now believes well, there is no reason to stay at Elsinore. <laughs> thank fuck. Let's get out of here. Um, okay, so we have to make them make up. Eh? Can we talk to Laertes about it? I don't want to... I don't want to bail is the thing. It's one of the endings that we need. It's We don't know that we need all the endings. I want them. Uh, but I, this is easy to come back to. He's not going to go to this meeting, right? I don't know. Is he? Yeah. Follow Hamlet. Fuck Hamlet. <laughs> Did we already get the keys? 
Uh, yeah, we've been standing in here for like remember. a long time. I thought. Oh no. Oh, what? Were we not standing there for like a long time? I thought. No, because we did the play. We did the play. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We were doing the play. Okay. Same okay. Again. Hammy. That's not good music. Hold on. No. Did someone die? No. It's dead. Okay. It should. The thing is, it should have been last night that, that happened, but it didn't happen. The thing is, none of the endings that we saw end just because time runs out. They're all like an ending ending. There's the piece. We one. do stuff, right? I just want to see if I th okay. So we've saved Polonius. That works. Right. Everyone is alive. Polonius, what are you doing? What are you doing in your room? Oh are you God. killing yourself? Stop! If you're doing it, stop what you're doing. Wait, what the, the fuck? huh? What are you doing up here? What's he busy doing? Okay, <gasps> the ghost. What? Ah, still living, I see. So you managed to stay your fate. I'm impressed. But tomorrow it will save you no more than the others. More ominous warnings? Do you have anything else to offer me? It's what the dead do best. Now, what news do you bring? We could tell them about the book. We could. Where's Polonius? Where the, fu where the fuck is Polonius? Where's Polonius? Oh, no. Dead. No, it's fine. Let's just talk to the ghost. Oh. Ah? Ghost is... Okay, goodbye, ghost. What? Where's the ghost? It's gone. Were we just too late? Maybe. Fuck. Oh, shit. Something's happening in Polonius' with chambers, except Polonius isn't here. Something's bugged. Yeah. That's very okay, bad who music. Died? Uh, Sorry to be the one to tell you this. Your father is dead. He took his own life rather suddenly. God what? damn it. But how? We just barely Why? missed it. Okay. So maybe we let Laertes leave? Maybe. Because he only comes back when Polonius dies. Yeah. And he, and he only stayed because of Brit. Yeah. I think we... We can actually... We can get him to stay by telling him that we're about to be murdered. Yeah, but then he gets all nosy and pokes around and shit. And then he talks to Brett anyway. Okay, maybe we let him leave and then have the play. Um, I think we just missed talking to... Uh, we know now that the play keeps him from getting stabbed. Just straight right. up, no matter what. Um, But we need to talk to him on the walls like twice. Yeah. Uh, So I think we just wait on the walls for him. Um. Ugh. I'll see him again soon. It's yes. fine. I don't care. Kevin. He's dead. Whatever. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's such an no. ominous thing to say after your father takes his life is don't worry, I'll see him soon. Like, uh. Uh, I'd be concerned. I'd be like, do you I would need be a so therapist? worried. And Bernardo's like, okay, I'm gonna go tell everyone and he's heaven. dead. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Bye. <sighs> okay. Um. I think this is Maybe where we stop it yeah. for tonight? We're going to finish the game. Uh, we thought we were. Uh, <laughs> we got real close. We got the book. Yeah, we did. We get. We got the book. We got a we could our crazy end the ending. Game. Yeah, we could. We, we could, could just, just go to the asylum. We could just ending and be like, we're done. Yeah, that's um, true. But I want to get a good one. Yeah. I want to get, get one where everyone lives and Ophelia mm -hmm. isn't in a fucking asylum. I really want to do... I really want to do the We Marry Hamlet one. God, I really don't. I want to do the really I want to do the boat one. Uh, I don't know how to get there. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. Before next week, I'm going to look up if there's like a secret ending if you get all the endings. Okay. And if there isn't, then we just need to get the good ending. The best one. And, yeah. Um, and the rest can be left as a exercise to the to the reader. Um 
but uh, I will look into it. If there is a bonus ending, we will, of course, do all the stuff to get the bonus ending. Because if there's a bonus better ending that's like, fuck you, Peter Quince, then that's, yeah. that's the one that we want. That's the one we want. <sighs> okay. God damn. Learned a what lot. A, we, we did so fucking we talk, We much. finally talked to Lady Simona. Finally. Yeah. And now we never need to talk to her again. Now we never. She gave us the book. <laughs> fuck her. Yeah. We'll never see her again. Which is kind of ridiculous. Like we were unless we break the loop somehow. I'm sure if there's like a perfect ending where we're like, "Fuck you, Peter Quince," she's gonna be like, "Oh, you did it," and we're gonna be like, "Yeah, fuck yeah." Yeah. Also, you suck. What the yeah. fuck, lady? Also, <laughs> Hamlet is also King Hamlet is also still repeating, too, yeah. as a ghost. So yeah, we'll save him too if we can do a big middle finger to Peter Quince, which would be sick. Yep. Save all the loopers. Hell yeah. Well. Next week. Bye, bitches. Bye, bitches. <laughs>